Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra, continuing my Hoi IV Kaiserite campaign as the Sultanate of Egypt. And we were just sort of getting into things. I mean, we're still in 1936, and we're just sort of learning the situation of our country right now, seeing how badly... Well, actually, we are not that bad off. I Like, for example, Deutsche Mittel Africa is far worse off compar comparatively to Egypt. Maybe not when it comes to research. Uh, Middle Africa starts with a lot of research, but uh, and we start out with illiterate populace, which is something I'm trying to get rid of. But unfortunately, we are kind of forced to go down this route here until we get to Farouk's reform. And to do that, we have to do Black Monday is over. Oh, we can remove Black Monday right here. We have to do, yeah, we have to do both of these, and then we can do this one, and then we can do this one. After that, I think we should go ahead and just go down all of these reforms all the way to the literacy program. Because this one, it's going to hurt us down the line if our research is going to be this uh, diminished. So yeah, I think we'll just hurry down this route all the way down. Maybe we just finish all the reforms? Maybe. The Cairo Pact? Hmm... I'm not really sure what to do. Like, this one, like, the aviation and the naval reforms, I can put them on hold. The uh, army reforms, we're going to have to get rid of inexperienced military as well at some point here. But for now, all of these are 35 days. So I can feasibly just sort of rush through these. This one here is, but on the other hand, this is going to take a long way to uh, chew through here. But we have to get Farouk's reforms before we can try anything else. Once I get to here, we can think about optimizing our path through the focus tree more. Uh, right now, we're only making rifles. We are on agrarian economy. Now that's the debuff. We are on early mobilization, and I'm hoping that we can get to 100, and I can get to partial mobilization, because that would be beautiful. We don't have more than 50% war support, and we are not at war. What is this? Lot Fia El Nadi flies across Egypt. Today, the young aviatrix Lot Fia El Nadi has made headlines in Egypt for winning an aviation competition where various aviators were to fly between Alexandria and Cairo and over the pyramids. Her victory has been hailed as a victory for women throughout Egypt, with a famous feminist Huda Sha. Arawi. Uh, you, you have to like do something weird when it comes to, like these hyphens here. You have to like pronounce it differently. So I'm just going to say Sha'awari. Arawi. Looking to help get El Nadi her own plane. As she was flying with Egypt Air, and several women are looking to see if they can start to fly. That's fine. I got some air experience, which is technically useless right now. But it's interesting. I wonder if she was like the Emilia Earhart of uh, Egypt. Maybe? Because like the only famous like woman aviator that I know of is Emilia Earhart. And that's uh, unfortunate, I suppose. I get, went up to speed 5 here, just so I can chew through this. And right now there aren't anything, there isn't anything happening really. There's the uh, Baltic War over here. Poland elects a king. And then there's the... Oh, let's pause here. And then there's the war between uh, Chinese Saibai and Mongolia. New Grand Imam and the Al-Ashar University. The Grand Imam of Al-Ashar is one of the most prestigious and influential positions in Egypt. The fact that Al-Ashar is one of the most prestigious universities in Egypt helps add to their influence. Today, though... Today, though, a new Grand Imam must be chosen, and the two leading contenders are naturally divided between the Pharaohism, Pharaohist and Islamist camp. The Pharaohist candidate is Muhammad al-Zawari, whom has earned praise for his effort to support the university as well as his reformist ideals. The Islamic candidate is Mustafa Hassan Abdul Razek, who has earned praise for sparking a renaissance of Islamic philosophy within the university, as well as wanting to expand Islamic education throughout the realm. 
who shall be appointed as the Grand Imam. I like the fact that he's trying to go with uh, education. But just only Islamic education, not just general education. Uh, he, This guy is supporting the university and his reformist ideas. I'm thinking we go with Mustafa. Social conservatives. That's us. And authoritarian Demo democrats. Yeah, let's go with this one. So right now we were at 35. We went up to 37. We're almost, almost at 40. Once I get to 40, I'll be very, very happy there. We'll lose that minus uh, 0.2 low popularity one. That would be quite good. Alright. How is this war going on here? Looks like my clique is winning. They have pushed into Mongolia. Protect industry is done. That got me a civilian factory. We cannot do this. We have to reopen the stock exchange. We get... 25 political power, which is nice, which is probably enough for us to uh, switch to partial mobilization. Construction 1 is done. Um, right, so right now we have to sort of focus our uh, research because we have such a huge penalty to it. So right now we don't even have the level 2 guns here. Ah... Uh, the defense is not worth it, really. The soft attack doubles. Yeah, we have to get the new guns. We have to get the new guns. If you, if I'm getting a hundred percent increase to soft attack, we have to go for it. Okay, so the Baltic War is over, and United Baltic Duchy won that. I think they tag change after this, don't they? Germanization or emancipation? Depends on what they go for. It looks like they've gone with Germanization. Judging by this uh, line over here. What is this? Pause. What is this? Socialist Republic of Italy has ended with the Union. So they went with... Social Liberals. No, that's the Italian Republic. Socialist Republic. They went with Radical Socialist. Christian Socialism. Interesting. This is not the same guy that was in charge in the last game I did. So... It doesn't really matter if they're social, uh, radical socialist or totalists or syndicalists. It's all like the same shade of gray, to be honest. It's all like radical syndicalists, communist things. Um, Kofum begins singing for Radio Cairo. Today, the famous singer Um Kofum began singing for Radio Cairo. This has helped boost the ratings of Radio Cairo as people tune to listen her to listen to her singing. Even though even the young sultan has been enjoying her singing and rumors persist of her singing for the royal family. Oh, that's a nice event. That's kind of cool. Now we're above 50%. So technically we do validate this should change. We have more than 50% for support. What? Huh? Why is it... It still says X on the more than 50% war support. Oh, I'm checking the wrong one. That's stability. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Okay, so we have 120 political power right now. So let's go ahead and swap to partial. Thank you. And right now we have five civilian factories working. That's good. Now we do Black Monday is over. Remove national spirit Black Monday. So that's going to help us quite a bit. The construction speed is gone. So factory output and construction speed. There we go. So this is the cap. This is getting hurt by Black Monday. This is getting hurt by Black Monday. And the cap is also, I think. That's the same one. It's the factory output. Factory output and then the cap. And what was the other one? Construction speed, right. Yeah, there we go. Black Monday, 20%. All right. Construction cost is 14,000. Oh, okay, here we go. Elections. 
Today is the long-awaited election for the primary minister of Egypt. This year's election is par particularly tense as it comes on the heels of the ascension of Farouk to the role of Sultan. The main four parties, as before, are running their candidates and the question is whom shall the people elect to be the prime minister? So I'm thinking like the... Uh, I kind of want to go for the um, the Islamists. If they're worried, if they are going to focus on education, which is what I like, I think we'll go for that. But right now, I don't see anything that forces us to pick one or the other when it comes to focuses. Um, Hollywood on the Nile. See, this is the Watanai party change in popularity of social conservatives that's us right now change in popularity of authoritarian d democrats hmm uh, right market liberals why can I not make up my mind conservative liberal reforms Absolute, uh, absolutist reforms have been implemented. Oh, if we go with the national populist here, nationalist Islamic party. I don't think I can pick that, can I? No, I can't. Okay, so we can't go with the Islamic party. This is the dynasty one. This is the the. Uh, I think these are the uh, the Pharaohists, social conservatives. That's me. What? Waft party. Market liberals. I'm in charge of all of these parties. Farouk the first is in charge of all of these parties. I cannot make up my mind. Um. Okay, so definitely the social liberals are definitely out. We're not going with those. The authoritarian democrats? No. Market liberals or social conservatives? Maybe we should just stick to the ones we have. Is that the best option right now? Can I still go with absolute monarchy? Because I'm thinking that's the best one. Absolutist Egypt. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see when it comes to maybe the religious reforms here. You know what, let's go with our own party right now. That's gonna help me right now. And hopefully I did not shoot myself in the leg here when it comes to picking uh, education stuff. Social conservatives. Okay, so we are now at 52% popularity. And now the penalty here is go away. Beautiful. Average popularity. Yeah, we're making Oh, what happened there? Black Monday is over. I guess the people in our government changed? Stability. This guy is good. He's definitely good. Ooh, this guy is really good as well. Daily political power game. Thank you. Ooh, these guys are all really, really good. They're all social conservatives. This is beautiful. And now we can do Farouk's reforms. Sultan Rafouk. Farouk, though still a teenager, has a grand vision of, mo of a modern Egypt. This vision sees an Egypt that emerges with greatness inherent in herself, with the best parts of Western ways of governing. To that end, he is exerting his he is exerting the considerable authority given to the Sultan to embark on a program of nation building, extending and codifying the power of the Egyptian state over the previously untouched aspects of life. Alright, let's get these reforms started, shall we? Ah, that was a mouthful. Um, yeah. Dispersed industry is done. Wonderful. So we're getting the guns because we desperately need them. Um, I think I'll get this one, maybe? Wait, the uh, land doctrine. We should maybe do that. We're gonna go with uh, 
grand battle plan, I suppose. Yeah. If these are our two options, I'm gonna go with battle plan. So let's start that one, at least. Grand battle plan is not bad if you have enough time to stop and get a proper planning bonus and then push. It can be quite good. But let's get this started, shall we? I thought, we'd, I thought we would be making more political power. I must have miscalculated something there. Was it 20%? If it was percent-based, not point-based, then it may be. Let me see this. I don't care about America right now. So law popularity, it is point-based. It was daily political power cost 0.2. And that changed to medium, which is nothing, basically. And we did not go up that much. Okay, pause. Farouk's grand reforms. Today, Sultan Farouk has announced a reforming plan to bring Egypt into the modern age. His programs will cover nearly every aspect of Egyptian life, government, and society. Various ministers and courtiers are already planning on trying to influence or manipulate the young sultan to their advantage. Egypt shall be brought to, into the modern age, so we get stability and war support. Okay, none of these. Definitely none of these. We cannot do the Cairo Pact yet, we can do that next year in May. Uh, thing is, I kind of want to beeline for the education reforms, but I need... I need land, legal, and parliamentary reforms. I need all six of these before I can do that. So bureaucracy, judicial, or administrative. We'll do with administrative first. Yeah, that seems like something that could ha impact our industry here. Currently in Egypt, the state's power is based around notable locals, be they landowners or village headmen. This is an obvious area of priority for our young sultan, who aims to standardize administration into four dozen governors. The question now becomes who should be appointed to each one and how? Well, we'll have to see how that goes. You guys still are uh, kind of fucked. I can't see your focus though. That's unfortunate. Mm, Ukrainian army. No focus. Uh, is Maklik losing this? No. Maklik is invading Mongolia. Ooh. Where is this? The Legionnaire Italia declared war on Venice. Okay, so Venice just rose up. Okay, what is this? Eight Ulftr. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to pronounce this. During the reign of Muhammad Ali, he demanded that the whole of Egypt known know when Ramadan ends. To do this, he positioned a cannon to fire at the crack of dawn on the first day of Eid. Today's cannons can be heard throughout Egypt from the cities to the countryside as people prepare to celebrate the end of Ramadan. Okay. Interesting. So we are back to 100 political power. We could grab some more people, but I don't think that's going to be our number one priority here. Weapon manufacturing, maybe? We have to get to 150 anyway, so let's just chill. We need to get to 150. We could do this, but no, we don't need it. Let's stockpile some political power if we can. I'm imagining some of these reforms are going to cost us political power. Like the more radical options are going to cost us something. If it's not PP, it's going to be a modifier. Okay? Govern governship reform. As part of the reforms that Farouk is bringing about to Egypt, the question of governors has come up. The liberals believe that governors should be elected, while the conservatives believe that they should be nobles. However, a third option has come up, appointed governors by the Sultan himself, selected through a meritoc meritocratic system. Meritocratic. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We have paternal autocrats, social conservatives, I want to go with mine, social conservatives, noble governors, yes, social conservatives and authoritarian democrats, yes, give me that. We are at 53. Let's do land reforms. With a new government system, provide, uh, wait, with a new government system proving effective, the question of land reform has come up. 
We now have the authority to redistribute, la redistribute land and put it in the hands of peasants who previously had rented it or even been enslaved. We could, however, formalize the status quo to win the support of the nobility or use this chance to enhance the personal power of the Sultan instead. Well, I like power. I'm not going to be honest with you. The French legation leaves Egypt. The news from Cairo travels faster than Farouk's assurances. The French legation based in downtown Cairo has already begun their exit from the Egyptian government. The Minister of Archaeology, even the Minister of Education, have all left the city. With them goes decades of work enticing the West with Egyptian myth and history. We should have to find a way to replace them. Base stability goes down. Well, let's just use, like, local talent instead, right? Why is it that, like, all the foreign dudes are archaeologists? Why don't Egypt have their own archaeologists? Every time I see a movie, like the, <laughs> the Mummy again, it's always, like, British archaeologists. Replacing the French ministers. There we go. With the political vacuum, King Farouk has an opportunity to fill positions previously out of his reach. I thought he was sultan. The Egyptian parliament has proposed several members from the Waft party be appointed. These candidates will no doubt extend their secular pro-Western sentiment in into their offices. Several associates in the Itihad party have suggested that turning these offices into a unified ministry of propaganda, I like that, could help unify the nation and help educate the populace about the glory of Egypt and the Muhammad Ali dynasty. Market liberals? Authoritarian Democrats. Well, the Authoritarian Democrats are our rivals right now. And the Market Liberals, we gain base stability 2 or 5. Yeah, we'll go with 5. Give me that. Let's boost up the stability of our nation. Even if we might lose a little bit of political power ourselves. Which is fine. Hmm... I kind of like these. It's a lot of decisions. And there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. I think we'll do the bureaucracy next. We'll end with the judicial stuff. Mm -hmm. Looks like I finished a uh, dude, finally. The Romanian Civil War. Okay, so the Romanians are at war with each other. I'm going to give you infantry experts, because you've been waiting with that for a while. And Haiti? 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 Declared war on the Dominican Republic. What can I give you? Uh, pause, pause, pause. I'm gonna give you... Uh, aggressive Assaulter? Let's go with Defensive Doctrine. For now. Land Reform. As part of the reforms that Farouk is bringing about to Egypt, the topic of land reform has been brought up. The issue at hand is that less than 6% of Egypt's population owns more than 65% of the land of the country. With less than 0.5% of Egyptians owning more than one-third of all fertile land. We don't own it ourselves? The liberals wish to combat this redistribution of the land to the people, principally through buying the land from the nobility. However, the conservatives despise such a notion and believe that such an action will only hurt Egyptian agricultural production. However, a third possibility has been brought up, and that would be to nationalize the land and have it all be the Sultan's lands, at least on paper anyway. So, remove national spirit land owning elites. Does that happen to all of these? Now, we can redistribute the land, and we get rid of land owning elites. All land should belong to the Sultan, so that replaces that with effective change. It's going to cost me more political power. Now, this one is zero. It's negative 0.1. Okay, stability 8. So it'll be 5. And consumer goods factories goes, down, goes away. So the effective change, I would still gain political power. Wait, this is, this is uh, paternal autocrats. Huh. Well, to be honest, the consumer goods factories has to go. So even if this helps the uh, p uh, paternal autocrats, the effective change of the uh, debuff here, landowning elites, is too good to pass up here. 
Okay. So we are gaining political power. We get plus stability, and we're still losing a bit of resources to some assholes, I suppose. This is fine. This is fine. And we are at 48%. 49, basically, popularity. So we're still good. We're still good here. 1937 will go with industry. Full on industry. And we will replace you with proper guns. Thank you. And how is this civilian factory that I've been trying to build forever? It's going to be done in April. Also, it is 1937 right now. So we could start doing the Cairo Pact in... Uh, we the Cairo Conference. Okay, we have to wait for that. And there we go. American Civil War has started. There we go. The PSA hasn't broken out yet, but they will. Where's the PSA? New England is going to break away. Oh, there's the Cairo Conference. The preparation for the Cairo Conference to help us gather allies to destroy the Ottoman Empire is now finished. With the preparations now finished, we should send the invitations out to the Arabian states, Yemen, and Persia. Saudi Arabia, Jabal Shamar. I think Jabal Shamar is dead. Yemen and Iran. There we go. There we go. Washington fell very, very quickly. And there's the PSA as well. Interesting. So things are back to where they should be, I suppose. And now the game has slowed down quite a bit. Cairo Conference. Economic Aid Plan. One of the economic ministers, Makram Ebeit, has brought up an economic plan to help the various countries that have attended. For if we are to defeat the Ottomans, we are going to need to help each other modernize and improve our economies first. Especially with Black Monday crashing our economies, we're going to need to help each other first. I have already fixed that for myself. Propose the plan. So we don't know. We have, They have to, like... Pick their options first. Idris. Who is Idris? The exiled of Libya. Idris. I guess the Tripolitania dudes. This is Libya, right? Idris has given a speech where he declared his opposition to the Ottomans and declared that he will support the members of the Cairo Conference whom help him in reclaiming his throne. Okay, so we're going to have to give him the throne of Tripolitania. That's fine. He can have it. And pause. Cairo Conference. How shall the Ottomans be dealt with? Now comes the main argument that the Cairo Conference has convened for. How shall we deal with the Ottomans? We can propose dividing up the Ottoman territory between the various powers gathered here. Alternatively, we can propose creating new friendly states out of the ashes of the Empire. Finally, we can announce our ambitions to take all the land. Well, I'll take it for myself. See if they like that idea. I'm taking it all for myself, regardless. It's going to be mine. Let's see here. The Cairo Conference is now over. Regardless of what has been decided at the conference, it was a grand celebration that shows the greatness of Egypt. Now comes the preparation for the future. Time to bring down the Ottomans. And we got some more political power. So we could get a head of military intelligence, but we don't need that, really. I would kind of like this. Uh, domestic gunsmith. Uh, we haven't done any of these. We have no companies available to us? Motherfucker. I guess we can get a chief of staff. Yeah, we got... Yeah, this is my favorite dude. School of Psychology. Organization and recovery rate. Give me this guy. Thank you. So we announced our ambition to just take all of the Ottoman Empire. I hope I didn't uh, shoot myself in the leg here by not inviting anybody else. But if we declare war on the Ottomans, they have to cross this river to get to us. And it's a single province defending. They are never getting through this. Pause, pause, pause. Bureaucracy reform. As a part of the reforms that Farouk is bringing about to Egypt, the nature of the bureaucracy has been brought up. The liberals are pushing for a modern civil service system that is done on meritoc meritocrat meritocratic basis. I don't know why that word is so difficult for me. Meritocracy sounds easy, but meritocratic is weird. While the conservatives believe that the civil servant should be appointed and heavily in favor of the nobility. Yes, we will be appointing them ourselves. So we are at 48. We went up to 50. Thank you. And now we go for parliamentary, parliamentary reforms. Uh, 
The question of the day is that of elections. While Egypt has adopted the German model of the royal diet, being able to veto but not introduce legislation, the question of liberalization is being raised by those hoping to hope hoping to hope for a more British style system. It will fall to the Sultan to support the status quo, liberalize, or possibly even gut the diet altogether. Well, I think I know what option I'm gonna go for of those. Um Let's see here. The Kingdom of Romania is... I think they're kind of fucked. Ooh, they declared what? Wait, what? Austria declared war on Hungary? I have not seen this. I did not know this could happen. Like, Vienna is right on the border here. If they take Vienna... Oh my god, what's happening? Is Austria gonna lose this? If they lose Vienna... Holy shit! This is interesting. This is really, really interesting. But you're surrounded by other nations here. Yeah, you have some people to the north here. Galicia, Lodomeria. You have Ilesia. Ileria, sorry. If Hungary can take this, unite the nation. So instead of, like, becoming a subject of Austria, Hungary is going to go ahead and take this for himself. I'm assuming he can. He's sort of surrounded by dudes here. Our ideology has grown. We don't need this. I need the political power right now for other things. Let's get these reforms done and, think, and then I think I will call it quits. And Vienna has fallen. Can you fucking believe it? Vienna has fallen. Alright, but I'm not sure if Hungary can do this. Royal Dietary Reforms. As part of the reforms that Fruk is bringing about the to Egypt, the topic of royal dietary reform has been brought up. The liberals believe that the royal diet should be strengthened at the cost of the power of the monarchy, while the conservatives believe that the current status quo works fine as a balance between absolutism and liberalism. Finally, a third option is to strengthen the monarchy while weakening the power of the royal diet. Strengthen the monarchy. No, that's paternal autocrats. Keep the status quo. Sure. I'm guessing the paternal autocrats here. That's, they're so weak. Keep the status quo. That's fine. And we'll go with judicial reforms. Uh, we might actually decide to go for, like, status quo monarchy. I suppose. But uh, right now, I think I'm going to call it quits right now. It is April, so we should be able to do this next month. Maybe we do this. We can start our faction then. And we can get Tripolitania to join our support here. Destroy the Ottomans. Here, we declare war on the Ottoman Empire. I don't know how far down this I'm going to do right now. And we get three forts in Cairo. Maybe, like, if we get a fort over here, they're never going to be able to cross that. But anyway, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Where hopefully we're going to go to war with the Ottomans. But until then... See ya, and thanks for watching.